Hey guys, you're watching Fitness Regiment, and we're finally at the sixth episode of R, which is logical vectors. In the last chapter, we not last chapter, sorry, last video, we did special numbers, kind of a boring video, pretty important to know about. I'm pretty sure most of you understand it by now. So we covered infinity, NAN, and NA, and we did some fun tests with it. Now we're going to go on to logical vectors. Um, I'm just going to read, to be honest, because it's fairly well written and it's short. So, in addition to numbers, scientific calculation often involves logical values, particularly as a result of using relational operators. Many programming languages use Boolean logic, where the values can either be true or false. In R, the situation is a little bit more complicated, since we have missing values which we covered in the last video, such as NA. This three system is called Trulian. Okay, that's just a joke, not really important. True and false. Okay, this is... A little bit important also, um, true and false are reserved words in R. You can't create a variable called true or false for obvious reasons. Uh, lower versions, for example, capital T and then R-U-E are fine. But to be honest, just avoid it. TNF are also defined. However, TNF can be redefined as variables. So if someone's been messing with your R and redefined TNF, I wouldn't use them. Just type out true and false. Don't be lazy. Just to make sure that it's always correct. Capitalized true and capitalized false cannot be um, uh, <laughs> reserved or, uh, cannot be redefined. So there's some other uh, vectorized logical operators in R that can't be redefined, and that's exclamation point and and that vertical line that I have no idea what it is actually called. So I'm just going to call it vertical line. Um, okay, so exclamation point is used for not. So let's say, for example, uh, I'm just going to say what they are, and then we're going to play around with them so you kind of get what I mean. So explanation point is used for not, and uh, the and symbol is used for and, and the vertical line is used for or. So if you've done any uh, statistics before, which I kind of hope you are, you probably know the last two. So we're going to go ahead and assign a value to x. We're going to say that x is 1 to 5, and then we're going to run is, it, uh, is x greater or equal to 5. And it's going to give us false, 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 and then true, 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 true. Okay, now, what can we do? Well, we can say is what what we asked before, what we asked R before, is x greater or equal to 5, we can do the opposite. We can go, is x not greater or equal to 5? So basically, is x less than 5? So it's going to give us true, 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 and then 6 false. So that's pretty interesting. You can do the same with y. Uh, however, with y, what we're going to do is we're going to go 1 to 10, and then percent, percent, uh, 2 equals equals 0. So it's going to ask us, is it equal to 0? So we're going to get some trues and we're going to get some false. And you can do x and y as well, and then x or y. So you can just play around with these values. Um, it's some pretty simple stuff. Like you can, it's basically just a division. Um, so I'm not really going into it too much, to be honest. Uh, you do not need to understand the table that I wrote. I, to be honest, like I haven't done this in so long that I don't even understand it. It was just written in the book, so I wrote it down. Um, you can check it out. It's it's easy to read, but you don't need to understand how it's written. So it's called a truth table. And I kind of uh, tried to write uh, wrote, uh, wrote some hashtags to explain uh, what they are. We go x, uh, and then we concatenate the true, false, and na, which are the logical values. Then we went x, y, and we made a grid for all the different combinations of x and y. And then we went, uh, we assigned it, we did, went within x, y, which is the grid that we created. Uh, and is uh, x and y, or is x um, or y, <laughs> not y is not y, and not x is not x. And then we got results for it, for the values of y and x. So you don't really need to know what this means. However, it's fun to play with it. In the book, there's some more fun stuff, not true, some true, all true, any. So I just go through this. To be honest, even I'm not really reading through this part too much. It's important to know, but I'm just doing it so you can look over it in the future. This is not really too important. We're still in the boring part. However, we're finally entering chapter three, which is inspecting variables and your workspace. So I hope you enjoyed this and learned something at least. And thanks for watching.